We are going to discuss uh, grand test paper uh, number four. Now, first question. One becquerel is the SI unit of radioactivity. It is equal. So one becquerel or it is denoted by BQ, capital BQ. That is equal to one disintegration per second. Direct theory becquerel. For each and every physics paper, you have to select first easy questions first. Not in order. You have to answer on the basis of easy, moderate, and difficult. Shorter answers are easy. Easy. Order law answer this one. Next, go through the next one. Magnitude of resultant of two uh, coplanar vectors at uh, 20 meters at zero degrees Celsius uh, with the x-axis uh, and uh, 10 meter at uh, 120 degrees with the x-axis. Uh. So here two vectors are there. One is making an angle zero degrees. Other one is making an angle uh, 120 degrees with the x-axis. Uh. Now we need to uh, calculate resultant. Now, let it be R1. R1 equal to 20 meters. That is making an angle zero degrees with x axis now, so that uh, direction is I only. Uh, second one, R2. So assume that, uh, so R2 is uh, this one, this is the R2 that is making an angle uh, 120 degrees with x axis. Like this, so that is there. So assume that this is x axis, uh, this is y axis, and R2 is like this. Now, R2 is making one 120 degrees with positive x axis. Sir. Means uh, we need to resolve this one into their components. So, what is the x component of this one? R2 cos 120 is the x component. So, that we need to write it as i. Next, y component uh, R2 sin 120. So, 20 cos uh, 0 into i, 20 sin uh, 0 into j. Same like that. The components are correct. In the horizontal component, right? Adjacent side of theta. Theta touches on the angle. Direction of theta is cos theta turn on. Other direction sin theta turn. What is the value of R two? Ten. Ten cos one twenty. I plus ten sin one twenty. J. So ten cos one twenty. Cos one twenty. Cos ninety plus theta. 90 plus 30, cos 90 plus 30 means how much it is? Cos 90 plus 30, sign 30, minus sign or plus sign? Minus sign. So minus 10 sign 30 into i plus this one, sign 120, cos 30, sign 120 and cos 30 plus cos 30 equal to So cos 30, j. So one uh, sine 30 value 1 by 2 so that uh, minus 5i plus uh, this is root 3 by 2 so 5 root 3 directly can write 5 root 3 5 root 3 j now resultant of these two vectors so r2 is this much and uh, r1 is this much r1 is 28 r2 5i plus 5 root 3 j now uh, resultant means uh, R1 plus R2, R equal to R1 plus R2, vector notation, na, so that you can directly add. So 20i plus a, minus 5i, 15i plus a, 5 root 3j. What is the magnitude of this one? Magnitude of this vector is how much? Magnitude of that vector, modulus of R bar equal to square root, a, x component whole square, 15 whole square, 225. Plus 5 root 3 whole square, 75. So root 300. That is nearly equal to 300 root time. Means uh, uh, nearly 17. Root 300 means nearly 17. Root 3, 1.732. 1.732 into root 100. 10. So 17.3. The idea on that, cos 120 minus sign of plus sign of the idea. Lay the other idea like that. So, if you have angle 30 degrees, this is 30 degrees, this is good. My result here, right? It's easy, fast go. Next, 
So SK velocity from the Earth surface is about 11 kilometer per second. SK velocity from the planet having twice the radius and the same mean density. So same mean density and that. So that we need to express SK SK velocity in terms of density. Density lor hai. SK velocity formula. Root two g r r g m by r. Root two g m by r. Now write down this one in terms of density. So density into density equal to mass by volume, na mass equal to density into volume. Volume is fourth third pi r cube. So one r will get cancelled out. So r square, r square root means r only. So s k velocity is directly proportional to radius. S k velocity uh, double out the pro radius here in the having twice the radius and that. radius double in the s k velocity on to the double out. So that the 22 km per hour is the answer. Next one. Breaking stress of a material of a wire is a 10 power 5 newton per meter square. Directly stress is given. And density of the material is given as 2.5 into 10 power 3 km per kg per meter cube. Then length of the wire which will break the wire by its own weight. So breaking stress is given. Now we need to express breaking stress in terms of length. So why? Because we need to calculate length of the wire. Na? So what is the breaking stress formula? Stress formula, force by area. Use the same equation. Force by area. So that is going to break due to its own weight. So that force can be written as mg. Mass is given or not? Mass is given. Mass of the wire on the level. So that we need to express this, uh, this uh, in terms of density. Density into volume. Volume can be written as area into length by area. So mass can be expressed as uh, density into volume. Volume again can be written as uh, area into length. So area can cancel out then uh, stress equal to rho L into G. Now from this one, L can be written as what do you have to calculate? L only. Na? So stress by rho into G. So what is the value of stress? 10 power 5. Rho value 2.5 into 10 power 3 into G value. So take it as a 10. So 10 by 2.5. Ten by two point five four minutes. So first up. Next The pebble is thrown vertically upward from the edge of a bridge with initial velocity four point nine meter per second. So it strikes the water below the bridge after two seconds. So it is projected like this, and then it will travel like this. So finally, that reaches the water surface like this. So that is prone vertically upwards like this. So exactly vertically upward, not with an angle. Vertically upward. Now for this one, write the equation of motion. Just write the equation of motion for this one. So only equation is S equal to unit plus half AD square only. But here, vertical projection, so that minus gd square. That only, that much only. So directly substitute the values in this equation, then you get the answer. So S equal to U value, 4.9. P value, 2. Minus 1 by 2 into 9.8 into 4. So how much it is? 9.8 minus. So 19.6. So minus 9.8. Minus is good. So velocity vertical upward only, displacement downward only, so that you will get negative. Velocity falls to either displacement it goes. Like a sign consideration in the directness of the case. Next. 9.8 meter is the answer. Next one. So which of the following temperature is highest? 
So among these two, which one is the highest? Twenty-three. So remove this one. Next, hundred Kelvin means in terms of degree centigrade, minus one seventy-three degree Celsius. So that is in minus, na? So if you convert into Fahrenheit, also you will get minus only. So that uh, is also less temperature. Now, so uh, convert this twenty-three into Fahrenheit. Uh, 9c by 5 plus 32 na is one Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit scale reading equal to 9c by 5 plus 32. Now substitute the degree centigrade value minus 23. Minus 23 into 9 by 5 plus 32 equal to Fahrenheit temperature. So how much it is? So around five times uh, is around uh, 45. 45 minus uh, 30. 15. So around 15 like that. Minus 15 like that. So not exact value minus 15 bar meter. So 23 bar meter is the maximum. So you convert just that those things. Minus 15 also. So minus 15 is 23. You take one to it. 23. Next. When the two balls are projected at an angle 60 degrees and 45 degrees to the horizontal, their maximum height reached are same. So maximum height reached by the first object is equal to maximum height reached by the second bar. Maximum height formula. Projectile. U square sine square theta by 2g. So U1 square sine square theta. Here U2 square sine square theta 2 by 2g. What do you have to calculate? Ratio of initial velocities. So U1 square by U2 square. Can be written as sine square theta two by sine square theta one. How much it is? Theta two is how much? Forty five. Theta one is sixty. So forty five sine forty five one by root two whole square one by two. Next sine sixty root three by two whole square three by four. Now cancel similar terms. Then you'll get a Two by three, two by three. But uh, this is u one square by u two square is two by three. U one by u two, root two by root three. So last two steps, we will say that the space on the match with two by three. That is an option that is so root two by root three is the answer. Next one. Momentum of the particle is given by p equal to four plus pi t square. Then force on the particle at a time t equal to two seconds. So momentum is given and force is asking. So force equal to rate of change of momentum. Can I write like this or not? So rate of change of momentum is nothing but force. Now what is the value of momentum? D by dt of momentum value is four plus pi t square. Now what is the derivative for? Four, four derivative is a zero plus a five constant, na so five only. T square derivative two t that equal to ten t. Ten t. So time is given as a two seconds, sir. So that substitute that. Ten into two, twenty newtons. Fourth half. Next, the two kg block is on a horizontal surface, and five kg is a hanging position. Diagram of the action of sorry, five kg hanging on the two kg horizontal direction on the horizontal surface. Now, what we have to calculate? Tension we need to calculate. So assume that this is M two, this one is a represented with M one. Now, what is the acceleration for this? Acceleration a equal to hanging block m2 into g by total mass m1 plus m2. Now substitute the values 5 into 10 by 7. That equal to 50 by 7. This is acceleration meter per second square. Now what is the tension in this thing? What are the forces acting on this one? M2 g downwards. Tension in the string upward. 
acceleration downward. Write down the Newton second law equation for this. M2g minus t equal to M2 into a. M2g minus t equal to M2 into a. So from this one, t can be written as M2g minus M2 into a. Or M2 into g minus a. M2 value is 5. G, minus, G is 10. And A value 50 by this is 10. 50 by 10. So how much it is? 5 into 20 by 7. So 100 by 7. 100 by 7. Next one. The Carnot engine operates with a source temperature 500 Kelvin and sink temperature 375 Kelvin. Engine consumes, so 500 Kelvin means that is T1. 375 Kelvin is T2. Next, that consumes 600 kilocalories, 600 kilocalories of heat. Nothing but Q1 is given as 600 kilocalories per cycle. Then heat rejected to the sink. Heat rejected means what we have to calculate? Q2. What is the relation between T1, T2, Q1, Q2? T2 by T1 equal to Q2 by Q1. Direct relation. Or what is the efficiency formula? 1 minus T2 by T1 or 1 minus Q2 by Q1. Either one you have to take. So for this one, this is sufficient. Now Q2 can be written as Q1 into T2 by T1. So Q1 value 600. T2 can be written on the other. 375. T1 500. Is equal to 6 into 375 by 5. So cancel this 5 in this one. So 7 times, 5 times, 75. 75 into 6, 450. So last two times, means efficiency method is not the model is. Next one. A block of mass 1 kg slides around an inclined plane of inclination 60 degrees. Starting sliding from the top, the coefficient of kinetic friction is 0 0.5, length of the plane is 2 meter, then work done by the friction is work done by friction. So, what is the frictional force on inclined plane? Frictional force acting, acting between block and inclined plane is F equal to mu mg cos theta. This is for inclined plane. Inclined plane is fixed. Next, work done by frictional force means frictional force into distance. If both are in the same direction, then F into D only the work done. If the applied force is applied force into distance. Angle is the angle, angle the cost is the same. So, inclined plane may frictional on the frictional and displacement in the same direction. Only. So, if it is moving downward, then frictional force acts upward. Frictional force will act upward if it is moving downward. And displacement like this. So minus one. Minus product. Exactly the other minus one. Both are in opposite direction. Displacement, the frictional force opposite direction on the other minus product. Now, frictional force value mu mg cos theta into distance. Substitute and solve, then you will get the answer. Mu value 0 0.5 mass 1 acceleration due to gravity. So here 9.8, 4.9 is there, so that take it as a 9.8. So angle cos 60, 1 by 2. Distance traveled or length of the inclined plane, 2. So 2, 2 they cancel out, 9.8 into 0 0.5, 4.9. 4.9 is the answer. So that is substitution. So if, if they give negative sign, you have to take negative sign out. 
నెగిటివ్ సైన్ ఇస్తే నెగిటివ్ సైన్ ఉన్న ఆప్షన్ తీసుకోవాలి బికాస్ వర్క్ డన్ బై ఫ్రిక్షన్ నెగిటివ్ ఉంటుంది నెక్స్ట్ పార్టికల్ మూవింగ్ ఇన్ ఏ సర్కిల్ ఆఫ్ రేడియస్ జీరో పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ మీటర్ దట్ ఇస్ స్పీడ్ దట్ యూనిఫామ్ గా ఇంక్రీజ్ చేస్తారు వట్ ఇస్ అవరేజ్ యాంగ్యులర్ యాక్సలరేషన్ ఇఫ్ ఇట్ స్పీడ్ చేంజెస్ ఫ్రమ్ టూ టు ఫోర్ మీటర్ పర్ సెకండ్ ఇన్ ఫోర్ సెకండ్స్ సో వట్ ఇస్ యాక్సలరేషన్ యాక్సలరేషన్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఫైనల్ వెలాసిటీ మైనస్ ఇనీషియల్ వెలాసిటీ బై టైమ్ టేకెన్ వట్ ఇస్ ద ఫైనల్ వెలాసిటీ ఫోర్ ఇనీషియల్ వెలాసిటీ టూ టైమ్ టేకెన్ ఫోర్ దట్ ఈక్వల్ టు టూ బై ఫోర్ సో జీరో పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ మీటర్ పర్ సెకండ్ స్క్వేర్ దిస్ యాక్సలరేషన్ నా వాట్ ఈస్ ఆస్కింగ్ యాంగ్యులర్ యాక్సలరేషన్ యాంగ్యులర్ యాక్సలేషన్ a equal to r alpha what is the relation between angular and linear point is a equal to r alpha now from this one alpha can be written as a by r a value 0.5 radius 0.5 that equal to 1 radian per second square second half So go through the next one. A body of mass m moving with velocity v collides elastically head on another body of mass qm which is initially at rest. That means u1 is given as v. u2 equal to 0. Next. What is the other quantity? m1 equal to m. m2 equal to 2m. Now the ratio of kinetic energy is of colliding body of colliding body before and after the collision so we need to calculate ratio of kinetic energy sir that means uh, we need to identify final velocity of the colliding body colliding body means of, uh, first body or second object first object or second object first object colliding body means first object what is the final velocity of the first object after collision m2 minus m1 by m1 minus m2 m1 minus m2 by m1 plus m2 into u1 plus 2m2 by m1 plus m2 into u2. This is the final velocity after collision in the case of elastic collision. Elastic collision is the final velocity for the first object. Second object is the second object. Sign mark. m2 minus m1. So, it is not a good thing. 2m1 by m1 plus m2 into u1 plus m2 minus m1 by m1 plus m2 into u2. This is the velocity of the formula. So, the final velocity is the same as the velocity. So, u2 is 0 and the term is 0 and the term is 0. Now, substitute the values here. Then, v1 equal to m1 is m. m2 is 2m by total 3m. What is the initial velocity? b so now how much it is minus m minus v by 3 this is a final velocity now what we have to calculate ratio of kinetic energy before and after so kinetic energy initial by kinetic energy final this is equal to 1 by 2 into m into u1 square by 1 by 2 m into v1 square Can I write like that or not? Half m is square. No? So initial means half m u1 square. Final half m v1 square. So 1 by 2, 1 by 2 m cancel out then u1 square by v1 square. u1 by v1 whole square. Now u1 by v1 is how much it is? u1 is a v. v1 minus v by 3. whole square that equal to 3 whole square that equal to 9. So 9 is to 1. Next one. 
Next one. Moment of inertia of a circular display about the diameter is I. So moment of inertia of the circular disk about an axis that is passing through the center perpendicular to the plane. If the axis is like this pen, then for this one moment of inertia, that it be I1. That is a m r square by 2. Axis can be long day. Form line the mr square by 2. Next, one kitchen point low axis along that net. That is along diameter. So, this is the axis of rotation. So, for this one, i equal to mr square by 4. If the axis is like this, then moment of inertia is mr square by 4. So, that given as i. So, i and m the mr square by 4. Now, go through the next one. It's a moment of inertia about an axis perpendicular to the plane and passing through the point on its rim will be. So this is a disk. Where is the axis? Axis perpendicular to the plane. That means that should be like this. And where we need to place? Passing through a point on the rim. That means axis is here. Here is the axis. So like this axis is there, like this pen axis is there. Now we need to use a parallel axis theorem. So for this axis, one first axis and second axis. So for first axis, what is the formula? Mr square by 2. If the axis is at this first location, Mr square by 2 formula. So these two are parallel. So apply parallel layer, parallel axis theorem. That means I equal to I final equal to ICM plus a mass into distance square mr square what is the distance between these two axes nothing but radius only na? so m into distance square you have to write what is the moment of inertia about this axis mr square by 2 plus mr square is equal to so mr square 3 by 2, 3 by 2 mr square now answer is in i so that uh, rewrite this mr square in terms of i 3 by 2 into what is the value of mr square from this equation? 4i na. From this equation, na, mr square equal to 4i. Substitute uh, instead of mr square, substitute 4i. Now cancel single terms, then uh, you will get a uh, 6i. So parallax theorem you have to use, and uh, you need to know all the formulas uh, related to this. Next step. A solid sphere of mass m, mass 5 kg, radius 10 cm, rolls without slipping with velocity 20 meter per second. Then uh, total kinetic energy of the sphere. So total energy. Total energy means uh, our total kinetic energy. Ke total is the sum of the Kinetic energy translational plus uh, kinetic energy rotational. When we need to use like, uh, like this equation, he said that uh, that is moving without a rolling with, or without slipping. Without slipping uh, concept is the total energy and the rotational motion concept. Rotational motion lo, total kinetic energy is nothing but uh, translational kinetic energy and rotational kinetic energy. Translational kinetic energy formula half m is square. Rotational kinetic energy, half i omega square. But uh, what is the moment of inertia for solid sphere? Solid sphere moment of inertia is a 2 by 5 mr square. Solid sphere is 2 by 5, hollow sphere is 2 by 3. Omega can be written as v equal to r omega. Na? Now from that one, na, omega is a v by r full square. Now cancel similar terms in that one. 1 by 2 mv square plus 2 to get cancelled out. r square r square will get cancelled out. Then it will be 1 by 5 mv square. This is 1 by 2 mv square. That is as it is only hard to write. After that cancel similar term then you will get 1 by 5 mv square. mv square. Now take LCM. mv square is common. Na? So if you take LCM then you will get 7 by 10, 7 by 10 mv square. 
సో డైరెక్ట్ ఈ ఫార్ములా గుర్తుంది ముందు చాలు సాలిడ్ స్పియర్ అంటే వాట్ ఈస్ ద టోటల్ క్యాండిక్ ఎనర్జీ జామ్ బైట్ అండ్ ఎమ్లీ స్పియర్ సబ్స్టూట్ అవైన్ సో సెవెన్ బై టెన్ ఇంటూ మాస్ ఈస్ ఫైవ్ కేజీ వెలాస్టీ ట్వంటీ ట్వంటీ హోల్ స్క్వేర్ నథింగ్ బట్ ఫోర్ హండ్రెడ్ సో ఫార్టీ సో సెవెన్ ఇంటూ ఫార్టీ ట్వంటీ ఫోర్టీన్ హండ్రెడ్ ఫోర్టీన్ నెక్స్ట్ వన్ నెక్స్ట్ వన్ ఎన్ ఆస్ట్రోనాట్ ఆర్బిటింగ్ ద ఎర్త్ ఇన్ ఎ సర్క్యులర్ ఆర్బిట్ థౌజండ్ కిలోమీటర్ అబౌ ది సర్ఫేస్ ఆఫ్ ది ఎర్త్ సో ఇజ్ దట్ దిస్ ఎర్త్ సర్ఫేస్ సో ఆస్ట్రోనాట్ ఈస్ ఆర్బిటింగ్ అట్ దిస్ లొకేషన్ ఈ లొకేషన్ దగ్గర ఆర్బిట్ లో రివాల్వ్ అవుతుంది సో హియర్ ఈస్ ద ఆస్ట్రోనాట్ ఈ జెంట్లీ డ్రాప్స్ ఏ బాల్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ ది స్పేస్ షిప్ సో హియర్ అట్ దిస్ లొకేషన్ హీ డ్రాప్స్ ఏ బాల్ now that will move in which direction tangential or in the direction na so as i in this direction so go through the options sir falls vertically downward it will fall vertically downward towards the earth no it won't fall so generally jarge in this so it will follow the orbit only so orbit ne follow avudu endukani so original ga dainiki enta velocity undado స్పేస్ షిప్ ఎలా ఎంత వెలాసిటీ ఉండదో స్పేస్ షిప్ లో ఉన్న లోపల ఉన్న ప్రతి ఆబ్జెక్ట్ కి కూడా అదే రొటేషన్ అంత వెలాసిటీ ఉంటుంది సో రెండు స్పిట్ అయినా అలాగే రొటేట్ అవుతాయి అదే వెలాసిటీ తో రొటేట్ అవుతాయి సో విచ్ ఆప్షన్ ఇస్ కరెక్ట్ ఇట్ విల్ మూవ్ ఎలాంగ్ విత్ ద స్పేస్ షిప్ సో సేమ్ వెలాసిటీ ఉంటాయి సేమ్ డైరెక్షన్ లో ఉంటాయి సో ఇది ఎలా మూవ్ అవుతుందో బయటకు వచ్చిన తర్వాత కూడా అలాగే మూవ్ అవుతుంది సో చేంజ్ అయి ఉంటుంది నెక్స్ట్ so hydraulic automobile is designed to lift a car of maximum mass of 3000 kg area of cross section of the piston is 425 cm square then what is the maximum pressure would the smaller piston have to bear so he is asking about pressure so what is the pressure relation pressure equal to force by area force can be written as mg mg by area so what is the value of m 3000 kg so that means 3 into 10 power 3 g value just take it as a 10 by so what is the value of axle area area 425 centimeter square so 425 into 10 power minus 4 meter square 425 into 10 power minus 4 meter square. Now solve this one further. So 10 power minus 4. So 10 power 8. 3 by 425 into 10 power 8. Or 300 by 3000 by 425 into 10 power 5. How much it is? so 400 so 30 by 4 average average ga 30 by 4 30 by 4 ante 7 times nearly 7 times uh, 6.90 so exact ga ite 7 times are near ga 7 times just less than 7 so next one when two water droplets merge with each other to form a larger droplet in this process energy is going to liberate energy liberate out next one tension in sonometer wire decreased by 19% then percentage decrease in frequency what is the relation between frequency and tension that is equal to 1 by 2l root to t by mu this is the frequency now so frequency is directly proportional to root to t now, delta f by f can be written as 1 by 2 into delta t by t can i write like this 
for small changes we can write like this so if it is more than 90 don't apply this one so here there is no values very near values not there so that i am applying this one generally we cannot apply this one if it is more than 10 percent 10 percent can make one day e permit apply t1 and t2 ask them solve this for so you can agree on the options layout out of there and the 10 or 11 or 12 like sir and order so the plan you apply is the answer so clear you have to do so time period will change in the tension will change in the 19 percent substitute that one by two into 19 how much it is 9.5 percent nearly 10 percent Okay, 9.5, 10, 11, 1, 9, it's apply J4. So, F2 minus F1 by F1 equal to root of T2 minus root T1 by T1, root T1 and the equation, the equation, the equation, the equation, the F2 minus F1 by F1 equal to root T2 minus root T1 by root T1. This format will apply J4. More than 10% will be this format. Less than 5% will be this format. Rendu percentage change. Here is the same. Your options are 10, 11, 12, 13, and the degree on the mother, you form it. Next. Go through the next one. Two tuning forks A and B produces notes of 258 and 264 hedge. And unknown note sounded with A produces a certain beats. When the same note is sounded with B, the beat frequency get doubled. So beat frequency, first day on the third frequency only. Third frequency, first down to beat chase. Now, if they sound together, then so F minus 258 equal to some X value. Or 258 minus F equal to some X. So we don't know either one. So third unknown frequency sounded with the first one. We got a X beats. X beats such name. And the equation here is F minus 258 right to lay down to 258 minus F right. Okay, fine. Next. Next, the same is a frequency in 264 to sound is. So if they are uh, sounded together, then what happens? When the same note is sounded with B, the beat frequency get doubled. If you sounded with the second one, then we can write uh, F minus 264 equal to 2x or 264 minus F equal to 2x. So we need to select either one from these two and from these two. So what is the selection? So F minus 258 selection is less than 258 minus F selection. Double a so frequency double a so double a and day is selected. Is selected. So double a in and day, so F two fifty eight two sixty four. So here and it is sound just now to X and frequency of stay here and it is sound just now to X. They put. 258 can a cool then out. Lay the 258 can equal number 258 F264 and this one. So here in it exhaust there, here in it go over excess. Tell this one. So that we need to consider this frequency should be less than 258. 258 can the corner this one. 258 can the corner this one. 258 can the corner this one. The frequency first case on excess for it. Second case, lo what X also. Now, so M D score two fifty eight. Can I take one value? Two fifty. So two fifty two to two fifty two to different chain. Two fifty two two fifty eight different chain da. Six. Two fifty two two sixty four different chain da. Twelve. So double in the layer. So let me just put it. That to six chain. Here two chain. Okay, external also. Next, this is the next level of the layer. I'll take this for you. Layer, you follow it a bit. So, you have to select a 252. 
Next, two plates of same area are placed in contact. Their thickness as well as thermal conductivities are in the ratio of which to three. So that means L1 by L2 equal to K1 by K2 equal to two by three. Now. Outer surface of the one plate is maintained at 10 degrees Celsius and the other one is at 0 degrees Celsius. So, assume that so two plates are like this. First plate, second plate. And this is at 10 degrees Celsius. This is at 0 degrees Celsius. Here are the two different plates. Now, what we have to calculate? So, what is the temperature of the common, common cross section? This one. At this location, we need to calculate temperature. So, 10 degrees on the 0 degrees on the we need to calculate temperature at junction or junction temperature. So, series connection again. So, rate of heat flow same amount. That means uh, rate of heat flow passing through the first one equal to rate of heat flow passing through the second one. So, formula. K A change in temperature for the first one. 10 minus T. So one temperature is 10, other side temperature T. So 10 minus T. E order this one. So you could have order this one. By length L1, K1. Here K2 A T minus 0 by L2. K1 by K2, L1 by L2 are same. No? So K1 by K2, here they cancel out. Then K1 by K2 into 10 minus T equal to L1 by L2 into T. So K1 by K2 value and the 1 by 2, 2 by 3. L1 by L2 value and the 2 by 3. Ne. So that 10 minus T equal to T. 10 equal to 2T. T equal to Next, when heat is given to a gas in isothermal change, the result will be. So isothermal means which one is constant? In isothermal process, temperature is constant. If temperature is constant, then du equal to zero. Change in internal energy zero. Temperature constant temperature directly related to the internal energy. So change in internal energy is zero. So if change in internal energy is zero, then eq equal to dw na? from first law of thermodynamics from first law of thermodynamics dq equal to du plus dw so du zero in the dq then equal to the dw equal so heat given to the system converted into work done so which one is the we need to select external work done by the gas so only two are there increase in internal energy wrong rise in temperature wrong Temperature change on the next. So internal energy change rather so, so that this is also wrong. Only external work then the change. Next. Kinetic field E along x axis. If the work done in moving charge of 0 0.2 coulombs through a distance 2 meter in the line making an angle 60 degrees with x axis is 4 joules. Now, what is the value of E? So work done. Work done formula, general formula. F D cos theta na. F D cos theta force into displacement. So exact kar aste F bar dot R bar and Lidande F R cos theta and what rast. R F D cos theta and what rast. Force can be written as E Q. E Q into R into cos theta. This is the work. Now substitute the values, then we'll get the answer. And we substitute just the answer. Work done is given as 4 joules, sir. E, you have to calculate. Charge 0 0.2 coulomb, sir. Distance 2 meter. Pass angle, pass 60. So 4 equal to E into 2 and pass 60 is 1 by 2. Na? So cancel out. Then 0 0.2. 
Now cancel this zero point two in this one. E equal to four by zero point two. That equal to twenty. Four by zero point or forty by two. Twenty. Twenty Newton per coulomb. So that. So our plan is that L S L I need to form now. Sorry. F bar dot R bar. The magnitude of the element F bar cos theta or F D cos theta. So force can be written as E Q. Next, a 10 microfarad capacitor is charged to a potential 50 volt, and it is connected to another uncharged capacitor in parallel. Now the common potential is 20 volt, then capacitance of the second capacitor. So common potential formula V equal to C1 V1 plus C2 V2 by C1 plus C2. Common potential if two capacitors are connected in parallel. This is C1, this is C2. If two are connected in parallel, then common potential is a C1 V1 plus C2 V2 by C1 plus C2. Substitute all values. Second one is uncharged, na? So that V2 is zero. Uncharged potential not there for second one. So uh, put zero instead. Substitute zero instead of V2. Then the term on the other side. We can remove this uh, second term because uh, V2 is zero, na? Just I am mean, removing the second. Now substitute the values and V value twenty, C one ten microfarad, V one fifty by C one ten C. Cancel simulators. This two in this one twenty five. So ten plus C two equal to twenty five. C two equal to fifteen. Fifteen micro microfarad. Correct. Common potential and the formula is okay. Common potential formula is V equal to C one V one plus C two V two by C one plus C two. This is the formula for common potential. The series connection is one of the end of the parallel of the series connection concept. Second one uncharged is the V two zero jaise, anti term zero. So it's got important model. Hai. Next, next one. A parallel plate capacitor with the air gap between the plates charged to a potential 500 volt. Then insulated. The plastic plate is inserted between the plates filling the hole gap. Then potential difference between the plates becomes a 75 volt. Then dielectric constant of the material. So delta constant we have to calculate. What is the capacitance of potential charge relation? Q equal to C V. Q equal to C V. So potential change in the so that charge should be constant. So capacitance formula, normal capacitance. If it is filled with the delta, the capacitance is C naught into K. If a delta of constant k inserted between the capacitor plates, then capacitance becomes a k into C naught. C naught is the capacitance when air is filled between the plates. Air unta yaar ka C naught hai na? Delta unta C naught into k ho. But C formula epsilon naught e by d. Which is that? Agar you say it like that, but it's like that. Observe that. General formula for capacitance epsilon naught e by d. Na. Good English. चार्ज का अंडरस्टैंड क्या था? तो प्रारंभिक स्वर ना C के अंदर रखना है Q by V, so C is inversely proportional to V ना, so C by C not equal to V naught by V. C by C naught. C naught can be written as K C equal to V naught when air filled. That is a 500 na. Now V when it is filled with the dielectric that is 75. C C get cancelled out. Then one by K 
equal to 500 by 75. So K equal to 75 by 500. So one minute. So C by C not correct. Okay. So K into C. This is K. So 25 can you just say? 20 by 3 and then K into C, C naught. C and K into C naught. C was the line K into C naught of. Next. The angle of minimum deviation for a prism of angle phi by 3 is phi by 6. So angle of the prism A equal to how much? 5 by 3, that is nothing but 60 degrees. So minimum deviation, 5 by 6, that is nothing but 30 degrees. Now, what is the refractive index formula? Mu equal to sine of A plus delta by 2 by sine A by 2. This is the formula for mu. Now, sin A plus delta, 60 plus 30, 90, 90 by 2, 45, sin 45, 1 by root 2 by sin A by 2, A is 30, A is 60, so 30, 1 by 2, that equal to 2 by root 2, that equal to root 2, this is a mu value, but what he is asking, the velocity of light in vacuum is 3 into 10 power 8, then velocity in that material of the prism is. So speed of light equal to C by mu. Velocity of light in a medium is a C by mu. So C value 3 into 10 power 8. Mu value root 2. So 3 by root 2 value 1.41. So 10 power 8. This is like 1.5. So 3 by 1.5 and then nearly 2. Nearly 2. So 2.1. Next one. A uniform potential gradient is established across the potential meter. So potential meter concept is quite easy on that. Lengthy on the question, lengthy on the so here two cells are used one is of emf e1 and other one is of emf e2 now they are connected to support and to oppose here two conditions are there so they are supporting and they are opposing each other now balancing lengths are l1 equal to 6 l2 equal to 2 meter now he is asking about emf of each one now they are going to support then e1 plus e2 if they are going to support, if they are going to oppose, then E1 minus E2. Support chase content, series low connect chase content. So support chase content, series low, same polarity is connected E1 plus E2. Opposite polarity is connected E1 minus E2. Same polarity is connected E2. Lay and opposite polarity is connected E1 ratio. Or they are support and oppose. Support chase content, addition. So oppose chase content, subtract. So support oppose and kunda even achu. same polarities are connected, opposite polarities are connected and kunda. So equal to balancing length L1 and L2. EMF is directly proportional to balancing length. So that E1 plus E2 is directly proportional to L1, E1 minus E2 directly proportional to L2. Take the ratio between these two, then you will get this answer. Substitute the E1, L1, L2 value. So E1 plus E2 by E1 minus E2 equal to L1 by L2, 6 by 2, that is 3. So E1 plus E2 by E1 minus E2 equal to 3 by 1. Can I write like this? So point 3 is 
త్రీ రావాలి కింద ఇక్కడ వన్ రావాలి సో ఎడిషన్ చేసినప్పుడు ఈవన్ ఈ టూ యాడ్ చేస్తే త్రీ రావాలి సబ్ట్రాక్ట్ చేస్తే వన్ రావాలి సో అలాంటి వాల్యూస్ ఏమి తీసుకోవచ్చు టూ ప్లస్ వన్ తీసుకోవచ్చు ఈవన్ టూ ఈ టూ వన్ అని తీసుకున్నాను అనుకో టూ ప్లస్ వన్ త్రీ టూ మైనస్ వన్ వన్ సో ఈ వన్ బై ఈ టూ ఈక్వల్ టు టూ బై వన్ రాసుకోవచ్చు కదా టూ ఇస్ టూ వన్ లేదంటే ఫోర్ బై టూ కూడా రాసుకోవచ్చు ఈ ఆప్షన్ లేదనుకోండి దాని గుర్తుంద నెక్స్ట్ వన్ దీన్ని డబుల్ చేయండి ఫోర్ దీన్ని డబుల్ చేయండి ఫోర్ బై టూ గుర్తుంద నెక్స్ట్ వన్ ఫోర్ బై టూ కి సపరేట్ చేస్తే వస్తుందా లేదు అంటే సో ఇది ఐడియా రాకపోతే ఏం చేస్తారు క్రాస్ మల్టిపుల్ చేసి ఈ వన్ ప్లస్ ఈ టూ ఇంటూ వన్ ఈ వన్ మైనస్ ఈ టూ ఇంటూ త్రీ సో క్రాస్ మల్టిపుల్ చేసి సాల్వ్ చేసిన మీకు ఇదే టూ ఇస్ టూ వన్ పోత So, electron beam moving with some velocity in a magnetic field perpendicular to the direction. Then force acting on that. Force acting on a charger particle when it is moving through a magnetic field. Formula F equal to BQV sin theta. BQV sin theta. Just directly substitute. Substitute and solve. B value 0.2. Charge electron na, so that 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 coulomb. Sir. And velocity. 10 power 6 meter per second. So no need to change. So perpendicularly that enters perpendicular to the magnetic field. So 90 degrees. So how much it is? 0.2 into 1.6. 0.32 into 10 power minus 13. So 3.2 into 10 power minus 14 also you can. నెక్స్ట్ నెక్స్ట్ వన్ మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ ఫీల్డ్ యూ టు కరెంట్ క్యారింగ్ సెక్లర్ లూప్ ఆఫ్ రేడియస్ త్రీ సెంటీమీటర్ ఎట్ ఎ పాయింట్ ఆన్ ఇట్స్ ఆన్ ఇట్స్ యాక్సిస్ ఎట్ ఎ డిస్టెన్స్ ఫోర్ సెంటీమీటర్ ఫ్రమ్ ది సెంటర్ ఈస్ ఫిఫ్టీ ఫోర్ మిల్లీ టెస్లా దెన్ వాట్ ఈస్ ఇట్స్ వాల్యూ ఎట్ సెంటర్ ఆఫ్ ది లూప్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ ఫీల్డ్ ఆన్ ఎక్సెల్ లైన్ ఫార్ములా మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ ఫీల్డ్ ఆన్ ఎక్సెల్ లైన్ మ్యూ నాట్ ఎన్ ఐ ఇంటూ ఆర్ స్క్వేర్ బై టూ ఇంటూ ఎక్స్ స్క్వేర్ ప్లస్ ఆర్ స్క్వేర్ ట్వెల్ ఫోర్ త్రీ బై టూ ఇస్ ద ఫార్ములా ఫర్ మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ ఫీల్డ్ ఆన్ ఎక్సెల్ లైన్ సో ఫర్ ఎ సర్క్యులర్ కాయిల్ సో ఇలా సర్క్యులర్ కాయిల్ ఉంటే ఎక్స్ డిస్టెన్స్ లో ఫార్ములా మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ ఫీల్డ్ ఫార్ములా ఇది ఇస్ అ కరెంట్ క్యారింగ్ కాయిల్ నెక్స్ట్ మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ ఫీల్డ్ ఎట్ సెంటర్ ఆఫ్ ది సర్క్యులర్ కాయిల్ మ్యూ నాట్ ఇంటూ ఐ బై ఇంటూ ఇఫ్ ఎన్ ఎం రాట్ అన్స్ ఆర్ దేర్ ఎన్ ఐ బై టూ ఆర్ మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ ఫీల్డ్ ఎట్ సెంటర్ ఆఫ్ ది సర్క్యులర్ కాయిల్ మ్యూ నాట్ ఐ బై టూ ఆర్ ఎన్ ఎం రాట్ అన్స్ ఉంటే ఎన్ ఇంటూ ఐ బై టూ ఆర్ అండ్ సాల్వ్ దిస్ వన్ టేక్ రేషియో బిట్వీన్ దోస్ టూ ఇట్ ఈస్ బెటర్ టు టేక్ రేషియో మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ ఫీల్డ్ ఆన్ ఎక్సెల్ లైన్ మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ ఫీల్డ్ ఎట్ సెంటర్ ఆఫ్ ది సర్క్యులర్ కాయిల్ మ్యూ నాట్ ఎన్ఐ మ్యూ నాట్ ఎన్ఐ విల్ గెట్ క్యాన్సిల్ అవుట్ దెన్ సో ఆర్ స్క్వేర్ ఇయర్ ఆర్ స్క్వేర్ ఆల్సో ఆర్ ఆల్సో దియర్ సో దట్ ఆర్ క్యూబ్ బై ఎక్స్ స్క్వేర్ ప్లస్ ఆర్ స్క్వేర్ ట్వెల్ పవర్ త్రీ బై సో రిమైనింగ్ విల్ గెట్ క్యాన్సిల్ అవుట్ సో దిస్ ఈస్ ఇన్ డినామినేటర్ టు డినామినేటర్ సో దట్ ఇట్ బికమ్స్ ఆర్ క్యూబ్ ఆర్ స్క్వేర్ ఉంటుంది కింద ఆర్ క్యూ ఆర్ ఉంది సో డినామినేటర్ ఉంది మూవ్ అయిపోయి ద వాల్యూస్ మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ ఫీల్డ్ అండ్ ఎక్సెల్ లైన్ ఫిఫ్టీ ఫోర్ బై మ్యాగ్నెటిక్ ఫీల్డ్ ఎట్ సెంటర్ ఆఫ్ ది సర్క్యులర్ కాయిల్ సో ఆర్ క్యూబ్ వట్ ఈస్ ద రేడియస్ ఆఫ్ ది సర్క్యులర్ కాయిల్ త్రీ సెంటీమీటర్ సో హియర్ ఈస్ ద రేషియో సో దట్ మోనీ టు కన్వర్ట్ ఆల్సో బయట డైరెక్ట్లీ యూ కెన్ పోర్ట్ త్రీ త్రీ క్యూబ్ బై దిస్ వన్ త్రీ స్క్వేర్ ప్లస్ ఎక్స్ వాల్యూ ఫోర్ ఫోర్ స్క్వేర్ హోల్ పవర్ త్రీ బై టూ సో హౌ మచ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఫిఫ్టీ ఫోర్ బై బి equal to this is 9 27 27 3 square plus 4 square 
25 that can be written as phi square so this entire thing can be written as phi whole square whole power 3 by 2 so that means we can write it as phi cube phi cube or 125 now from this equation bc can be written as 54 into 125 by 27 27 in this 54 2 times 2 into 125 250 so then you like solve here ratio this one solve here and then indulo substitute chey solve cheskonda undi lambi ayi ratio ne ratio ite ne easy ratio ga gani individually substitute chesi tarvata calculate chestan ante lambi ayi Next, which are the following? Always form a virtual and a erect image for all positions for the real object. For real object, which are the following forms? Virtual and erect image. Virtual and erect. So concave mirror and a not concave, convex mirror, concave lens. So concave concave lens, concave lens. It forms a virtual image. as well as a erect next one uh, convex mirror also so exactly opposite terms so you have to select both one and two one and three forms uh, that means a concave lens and a con convex mirror forms a virtual image and erect next one The perpendicular component of external magnetic field passing through a coil of 10 tons of radius 50 mm increased from 0 to 18 tesla in 3 seconds. The resistance of the coil is 2 ohms. Then magnitude of induced EMF. So coil of magnetic field change in that generally inductance of that. Let the induced EMF formula ask me now sir. Induced EMF formula means layer inductance formula in solution is not possible. So inductor ki EMF formula endi minus L into di by d. So use this formula and solve. EMF can be written as so induced current. So EMF yola ga yola ga. Induced current ये कैलकुलेट किया है। So induced EMF formula number of turns होना है। So n into d5 by dt minus n into d5 by dt और minus n into phi के अंदर रखना है v dot a v2 minus b1 by time taken into area normal formula Faraday's law is। So EMF ने in terms of current रहा है लंदे I into resistance equal to so negative sign this is now B two minus B one by T into area so answer the negative sign is there so negative sign is there now we need to calculate current now so here in this one for current I I can be written as N into B two minus B one into area by time taken into resistance. Number of turns. How many turns are there? Ten. Magnetic field difference. Zero to eighteen. Na. So difference is eighteen. Area. Radius is given. So that uh, area we need to write it as uh, pi r square. So pi into radius is fifty uh, mm. In terms of meter, fifty into ten power minus three meter. Or five uh, into ten power minus two. Whole square by time taken three seconds. Resistance two ohms. So solve this one further. Ten into this is three into two six. So in this one, in this eighteen three times into five into twenty five into ten power minus four. Can I write like this?
So solve this one for the three into pi. Nearly ten. Nearly. So pi also three point one four something. Na? So three into pi nearly ten. Ten into ten. Hundred. So twenty five into ten power minus two. Or zero point two pi. Nearly. Electric flux passing through one one phase is a q by six h lambda. Total electric flux means a q by h lambda. Yeah, from all phases, sir, it is q by h lambda self discharge. Next one. Electromagnet um, electromagnet has an energy stored there four sixty eight joules of magnetic energy. Current nine amperes exist in the coil. What is the induced EMF if the current reduces to zero in zero point four five seconds? So energy stored is that. Here energy stored in that magnetic energy. So magnetic energy stored in the one. So capacitor inductor. When it comes to magnetic energy, it is stored. Inductor also magnetic energy stored. So magnetic energy stored formula half L square. So induced EMF formula in terms of L. Minus L into dA by dT. Minus L into dA by dT. So you need to think about this. So energy given na for the for six forty eight. When a current at any ampere exists in the coil, energy is a six forty eight equal to one by two into L into current at nine volts per. So L can be written as a two into six forty eight by nine into nine. Now substitute this value here. EMF equal to negative sign also there. So minus L can be written as a two into six forty eight by nine into nine into change in current. How much is the change? Reduced to zero in zero point four seconds. So nine minus zero by zero point four five. Two into six forty eight. So nine nine get cancelled out by nine into zero point four five. So solve that one further. So nine in the interval can show. Seven times, na? So eighteen, two times, seventy-two. Next, so zero point two four five on the other. So two into seventy-two by zero point four five. If it into two rasi, it into two rasi. So this becomes nine, nine seventy two log. Eight times na? Eight. So eight into four, thirty two. So zero point four five. Second one more time. Twenty ten. Zero point four five into two and that is a four nine, not nine zero point nine zero point nine. Got extra zero on that. Three twenty. Three twenty volt. Next diamagnetic material. Diamagnetic material. 
So direct theory question only. Uh, just go through this one. They are feebly uh, repelled by the magnets. So diamagnetic, paramagnetic, ferromagnetic substance. So theoretical concept is very important. First priority is the theoretical concept. Only. So just take the table one. Sir. The next one. Average energy density in electromagnetic wave is associated with that. both electric and magnetic fields. No? So energy EM waves low energy along the electric field ki, magnetic field ki equal share ho. So both are the correct one. Both electric and magnetic field shares the energy equally. Next one. Binding energy for a hypothetical nuclei PQR are 112, 106, 230 MeV. Then energy release. So P plus Q gives R. Na. So energy release at delta E equal to so energy for P plus A, energy for Q minus energy for R. And then equation balance it. Balance is the energy release. Ki. So total energy before reaction equal minus a total energy after reaction gives the energy release. So for P and Q, just add these two. How much it is? 218 minus 230. Minus. So E minus is rest plus 12. What are Next one. How far should the object be from a concave spherical mirror of radius of curvature 32 centimeter to form real image of one ninth size? So size one ninth. So what is the magnification formula? So height of the image by height of the object. Three formula. So height of the image by height of the object and the chart one ninth and nine. so real image of one ninth size. So minus V by U equal to one by nine of height of the object. So one by nine of height of the object by height of the object. So minus V by U equal to one by nine. So what do we have to calculate? How far should an object be placed? That means object distance, you, you have to calculate, you. So radius of curvature is given. So what is the relation between radius of curvature and focal length? Focal length and radius of curvature. Focal length and radius of curvature. So, the idea is that the equal to 2F. Then, focal length and the so F equal to 18. So, this, which length is this one? So, concave mirror. So, minus it. Just use a 1 by F equal to 1 by U plus 1 by V formula and solve for a U. So, F value is this. Now, replace V with a U, this one. From this one, V can be written as U by N. Just substitute and solve, then you will get the answer. So V value is there, F value also there. Then substitute and solve for U. Then there are 180 centimeter. Of. Substitute this only 180 centimeter. Of. Next. The gas mixer contains uh, two moles of oxygen and uh, four moles of uh, argon at a temperature T, neglecting all vibrational modes, uh, then total energy of the system. Total internal energy. The internal energy formula. NCV delta T. NCV delta T. So here two gases are there. Na? So N1, C1, V delta T plus N2, C2, V delta T. So energy, internal energy, N1, Cv1, delta T, plus N2, Cv2, delta T. First gas, what is the first gas? Two moles, oxygen, diatomic or monatomic? 
ऑक्सीजन डायटमिक सीवी वैल्यू सीवी डायटमिक मॉलिक्यूल सीवी वैल्यू सीवी वैल्यू चेंज इन टेम्परेचर ठीक प्लस सेकेंड है मोल्स है फोर मोल्स है नेक्स्ट मोन एटमिक गैस है मोन एटमिक जस्ट सी वैल्यू सब्सिट फाइव बाई टू थ्री बाई नेक्स्ट सो एंग्स डी विस्टर एक्सपेरिमेंट पढ़ी था वेव लेंथ है सिक्स थाउजेंड एंग्स डी गिवन now interference pattern is observed on the screen from this fix if the central bright fringe lambda dash zero then path difference for a light from the two slits at a fourth bright fringe path difference formula what is the formula for path difference path difference equal to n lambda bright fringe na bright fringe means n lambda so dark fringe means 2n minus 1 into lambda by So next solution, n value is how much? Four lambda six thousand. Thanks, sir. So how much it is? Twenty-four thousand. So thanks, sir. Means ten four minus ten. Substitute that one, sir. Into ten four minus ten meters wide. So two point four micrometer. Two point five micrometer. So question is, anything under answer? Any steps for that? Just ten lambda, n plus one by two into lambda for that. Then the n plus one by two then the last one. Dark fringe here. Dark fringe here. Extra n plus one by two. Any n minus one by two. Next. Two polaroid sheets are arranged with their axes parallel. The second polaroid is rotated through an angle of 60 degrees. So assume that this is the first polaroid. So axis is like this. Next, here is the second polaroid. So axis is making some angle with the some angle theta with the first one. So we need to angle means angle between these two polaroids are axis. 
सो इन इंटी नाटे फस्टे सर की सो ऐंग संबंध लेंगि सो फस्ट पॉलर बैठक सर की बैठ नैक्स्ट सोलर दी बैठक सर की सो ना बै टू इंटू का मैल्यूसला सो ईक्वल इंटेटीटा asking about a ratio between the first intensity and second intensity so only one formula is there i equal to i2 equal to i1 cos square theta is okade formula malus la nenu but if it is passing through the first polaroid no need to use that formula so direct ga i not by 2 i aithe i by 2 rasay first polaroid aithe second polaroid daga nunchi a equation rasukunte next Debrogli wave, direct formula only, na. You can you can calculate. Debrogli wave length is given. He is asking him about velocity. So lambda equal to h by m v. What we have to calculate? Velocity v equal to h by m lambda. Substitute and solve, then you will get the answer. Which value? Six point six into ten power minus thirty four. Substitute this only. So answer under all is seven point two eight. Particle executing in a SHM, its amplitude is given as two meter, and time is a periodic time. That means time period is two seconds. Then maximum velocity. So V max formula, A omega. So A into omega can be written as two pi by t. Substitute the values. Two into two pi by t value. T value two seconds. That equal to two pi. Next one. P-n junction diode in forward bias. Forward bias one. The P-n junction diode in forward bias one. So depletion layer one. In forward bias. Decreases. Reduced. Okay. Fine. Depletion layer here. Eh? Depletion layer region. Eh? And barrier height also. He is asking about height also. What about height? So both are same. Same notation only. Both the height and the width also decreases. Both the height and width also decreases. So generally they are asking about the width only. In forward bias, the width of the depletion layer decreases. In reverse bias, the width of the depletion layer increases. 
Next, you have to solve this one further. So, R gate, NAND gate, AND gate. So, you also do. XR also. So, NAND plus R. NAND plus R, you also do. XR also. Multiple ASO. And then, we never saw this one. So, previous law is on. A, B, this one. You can also do. K plus B. You can do. A dot B, whole bar. Whole bar. Next. You can do. Sergi. A plus B dot A dot B for billion argument. So answer is also the XR. Next. So which of the following is not characteristic of diamagnetism? Diamagnetism. So susceptibility is inversely proportional to the temperature. I mean, is a wonder. Parent pedagogy. Miglin, you got a diamagnetism properly said. Next step. The current carrying coil of radius 5 centimeter produces a magnetic field at center. Magnetic field at center of the circular coil formula. U naught into I by. 2 R. Magnetic field is how much? 7 into 10 power minus 5 is given. U naught value 4 pi into 10 power minus 7. Current value we have to calculate by 2 into radius 5 centimeter. That means 5 into 10 power minus 2 meters. Now solve this one further. So I equal to 2 into 5, 10. 10 into 10 power minus 2, 10 power minus 1. Cross multiply. So 7 into 10 power minus 5 into 10 power minus 1 by 4 pi into 10 power minus 7. Now solve this one further. This is 10 power minus 6. This is 10 power minus 7. So I equal to 70 by 4 pi. Seventy by 4 pi means around 12. 70 by 12. So that is very near to the 6. Or solve this one further. 35 by pi. 35 by 2 pi. 35 by 2 pi. So 2 into 22 by 7. Like this one. Sir. 35 by nearly 6. Na? Nearly. 35 by 6 means around there. So less than, just less than 6. Sir. Five point six. Next, potential difference across the terminals of a battery, fifty volt when eleven ampere current is drawn. The potential difference is sixty volt when one ampere is drawn. Then internal resistance of the battery. So internal resistance EMF relation. EMF equal to V plus I R. Doctor, on Doctor, on the EMF is potential. V and V and potential. So, this is the same. V is the same. V is the same. V is the so same battery again. Battery same the EMF same hai. EMF are there So that uh, potential V1 plus I1 into R equal to V2 plus I2 into R. Lara actually. In the EMF same gada. EMF of the first battery. So EMF of the second battery same. EMF formula V plus I R. Now substitute and solve. 50 plus 11 into R equal to 60 plus 1 into R. So, 11 R equal to 10 plus 1 R. So, take this one to this side. 10 R equal to 10. R equal to 1 O. So, EMF formula is V plus I R. 
అదే వోల్టేజ్ అడిగితే పొటెన్షియల్ డిఫరెన్స్ అడిగితే ఈ మైనస్ అయ్యా నెక్స్ట్ సో ఫర్ ఎ ట్రాన్సిస్టర్ ఇన్ యాక్షన్ విచ్ ఆర్ ది ఫాలోయింగ్ స్టేట్మెంట్స్ ఆర్ కరెక్ట్ బేస్ ఎమిటర్ కలెక్టర్ రీజన్ షుడ్ హ్యావ్ సేమ్ సిమిలర్ సైజ్ అండ్ సేమ్ డోపింగ్ కాన్సన్ట్రేషన్ కాదు సో విత్ డిఫరెంట్ గా ఉంటుంది సో డోపింగ్ కాన్సన్ట్రేషన్ కూడా డిఫరెంట్ గా ఉంటుంది గుర్తుందా లేదా సో ఎమిటర్ రీజన్షన్ షుడ్ బి సైజ్ ఎలా ఉంటది ప్లస్ డోపింగ్ ఎలా ఉంటుంది ఒకసారి అదే సేమ్ నోట్స్ లో ఉంటుంది కదా నెక్స్ట్ వన్ both the emitter junction as well as the collector junction should be in forward bias yes. no so emitter base junction forward lo undali so base collector junction na reverse bias lo undali next base junction must be very thin and lightly doped correct base junction ante prathi dan properties gurtunda so emitter ela untadi size ela untadi doping ela untadi next base size doping collector size doping biasing ela untadi జస్ట్ అందరూ గుర్తుపెట్టుకోండి సో ఫర్ బేస్ జంక్షన్ బేస్ జంక్షన్ ఈస్ వెరీ థిన్ అండ్ లైట్లీ డోప్ వెరీ థిన్ అండ్ లైట్లీ డోప్ నెక్స్ట్ సో ఎక్సలరేషన్ ఆఫ్ ది పార్టికల్ ఇన్ ఎస్హెచ్ఎం ఈజ్ మాక్సిమం ఎట్ సో ఎక్స్ట్రీమ్ పొజిషన్ దగ్గర మాక్సిమం ఉంటది మినిమం ఎట్ మీన్ పొజిషన్ సో మాక్సిమం ఎట్ ఎక్స్ట్రీమ్ పొజిషన్ సో దిస్ ద కరెక్ట్ సో ఎక్సలరేషన్ ఫార్ములా In SHM, A ఇన్ ఎస్హెచ్ఎం ఏ ఈక్వల్ టు మైనస్ ఒమేగా స్క్వేర్ ఎక్స్ మైనస్ ఒమేగా స్క్వేర్ ఎక్స్ ఫార్మ్ 